Hey, we're live. Like it said, 10, 9, 8, 7, 5, 4. Still haven't gotten the kinks ironed out with a microphone, so hopefully everybody can hear me. <clears throat> if somebody can give me a... If somebody can give me a thumbs up that they can hear me okay, we're good. Dale, I see you want Rockies and Angels. We'll do that. We'd like to get the, the baseball jerseys filled because they're awesome. And I don't want one not getting claimed. Uh, trying to avoid that not getting claimed stuff because all it does is complicate stuff. And makes people goofy. So let's try not to do that if we can. So Dale, I will put you down for Rockies and Angels. And Colorado Rockies. And the Angeles from St. Louis, like from Anaheim. Now how cool would it be for a Mike Trout jersey to be there? That'd be freaking awesome. I think I'd have to go goofy. Uh, actually, the Colorado jerseys that they played last night against the Phillies we're freaking awesome. I like the Rockies purple ones. Don't get me wrong. They are cool. The Dante Bichette era was awesome. Uh, the Todd Helton era with the, the jerseys were awesome. But those green and white ones, like the license plates last night, if the Phillies do something like that for their city jerseys, I'd be okay. Uh, if they do something stupid like the Sixers did with the dumbass white city of brotherly love crap on the front of their shirt and the ugly court, I want to puke. So, and thank you, Sixers. Uh, if I had the sound effects, this is the time I'd be using the sound effects to sound like a clown horn. Uh, if you freaking lose game six at home to close out your arch rival. Okay, Robert, I got you there. The odds are pretty damn freaking good that when you travel back up to Boston and my customer that picked up his motor home on Wednesday, who is laughing at me now, uh, because he called me the other night about how about them, because he's a diehard Boston fan, and I'm going to get a text from him in the morning going, hey, how about them? Uh, the odds are pretty damn good. If you blow a game six at your home rink, home venue, ballpark, rink, basketball arena, whatever, and you had a chance to close out your arch rival in their home building, and the last sound you got to hear was their building being silent as people walked out the doors because they were upset that they lost. You don't deserve the freaking win in Game 7. And the Sixers played like crap in the third quarter and gave the game away to the Celtics. Uh, and the, what, who should be the true MVP? Jason Tatum, not Joel Embiid. And I'm a diehard Sixers fan. But he does not deserve to be the MVP. MVP show up when the game is on the line. And he disappears. So, anyhow... Uh, that's my public service address announcements. announcement again for the Sixers wasting my time, wasting my money, and wasting hours upon hours upon hours of my life this year watching them because my wife and I watch literally every game, whether we're in person, which I went to six games this year, or we're at home. We watch every stinking game. And thank you for uh, paying us back for our... our uh... That's my brother in Pittsburgh calling back. So he's goofy. Uh, but anyhow, so we're going to get rolling here. What are we breaking? Okay. <clears throat> we're going to point breaks, okay? What are we breaking? Uh, we have scheduled tonight. We're going to do three mini helmets, which are cool. We're going to do 10 hockey pucks. We got two baseball jerseys to do. And I'm going to propose something different, something cool. Uh, the ML or the uh, NFL 8x10s that we have ready to roll uh, and all set. Uh, they didn't really post online. And about 10 of them listed, and only six got sold. So I'm going to push them to Thursday when we have our big football break again. Thursday night again, we're going to do uh, three football jerseys. We're going to do a full-size helmet. We're going to do mini helmet. We're going to do, it's going to be football crazy again. Uh, but I have a full-size NFL helmet back here. If anybody wants to do one, uh, I'll take the votes before we put it up. I was thinking we'd probably do <laughs> a divisional break, meaning that you take all teams in one NFL division, which would give you four teams, uh, like 35 bucks uh, a spot, 
And you got a one in eight shot of winning the helmet. So anybody thinks that's a good idea, we can do that. If not, uh, we can put it in the mix for down the future or just have a shorter break tonight. That'd be fine. Uh, but yeah, it kind of sucks. eBay was having some, I don't know, tangle some stuff. I got error messages and stuff from them yesterday that unfortunately some things didn't get post and the dates were wrong and weird stuff. So I just said the heck with it there. Uh, and we're on. They, they all should have been on there, but not really, not so much. So only seven of them went. So anyhow, so right now we uh, the pucks are filled, so we're going to break down. The jersey we got, uh, the mini helmets, uh, again, uh, I'm going to put that up for a second so everybody can see. I'll, I'll yak why the mini helmet thing is up. So these are teams that are available. However, in the mini helmets, uh, Tyler B. picked up the Vikings and the Steelers, so they're not on there, and I took them off already. So there's the mini helmets that are available. We'd like to fill that up, obviously, because uh, it would suck to open one up and not have somebody have it. That would suck. So, uh, and then right now, the baseball jersey, uh, which are going to be two of them. There are two boxes right there. We're opening them both up. We're not going to just have them there for the heck of it. Uh, baseball jerseys are pretty good. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Tyler B. picked up the Phillies and the Giants. And uh, you had a couple guys pick up the Toronto guys. Right now, we're down to, for the baseball, we have the Marlins, the Brewers, the Cubs, the Pirates, the Orioles, the Rays, the Royals, and the Astros. That's it. Everybody else is picked up. So, so yeah, if, I, if we have eight people that are in for the full size, that'd be cool. Uh, <clears throat> so, bu, bu, bu. Uh, the mini helmets, uh, Chris, let me see. And you're, hey, Chris, your, your bids on the football are going to stay in, intact for, for Thursday, so don't stress on that. Uh, the mini helmets. How many do I got? I got here. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Hmm. Yeah, there's like sixteen spots, which is like goofy in the minis. Uh, it doesn't usually happen that way, which is strange. Uh, because again, some of them didn't post. I don't know why. Uh, they repeat them for later in a week already, which makes no freaking sense. So, uh, So there's like 16 left there. If you did like seven bucks a piece, what is that? 16, seven, four, like a hundred bucks, dude. And we will just roll them. Let me know. Uh, I'm assuming that the kids got the Browns helmet already. Yep. Dallas and sea chickens are off the list. Dale, I got you. Yep. Yep. That's 16 teams after the Dallas and the sea chickens. And they're not the chickens. They're the sea hawks. Hawks are an intimidating bird. My daughter goes to school at Susquehanna University. Their name of their team, it used to be the Crusaders. Uh, but now, get this, they changed it about four years ago because some yuppie or some goofball or someone with an agenda didn't think the Crusaders was the proper name for a school where not all people go that are Catholic, which is goofy. She goes to Susquehanna University. But now, the name of the team is the River Hawks. And the logo is as close to a Seahawk as you want to get, which is awesome. And I told my daughter she just did it because she wanted to be close to daddy's team, which I know wasn't because she wants to be an English teacher. And she did great. She's home for the first, after her first year of college, and she loves it. And their colors are red, are burgundy and orange, which are not uh, anywhere close to the Seahawks, but the logo's cool. Uh, I'll have to put the logo up there for, for next time. All right, Chris, I'll put you down for the, the remainder. So we got the, the mini helmets to be filled, so we'll roll that. So all we're looking to do now is the jerseys. And if anybody wants to do the full helmet, uh, it's like I said, it's right back here. Uh, we'll, we'll do it. That, that'll be cool. We'll do that afterwards. We get the other stuff done. Uh, but right now, all I got is baseball jerseys. All we got is the fish, who, again, thank you, Phillies, for never being able to beat the Marlins. The Pirates. O'Neill Cruz would be a cool jersey to get. That would be freaking awesome. A Christian Yellow's jersey would be awesome to get. And the Brewers. Now, I watch too much baseball. I guess I know all these guys. Uh, I, I would even take a Kyle Schwarber Chicago Cubs jersey because I think that would be cool. Uh, they're the National League teams. And in the American League, my Orioles. A Ripken jersey would be neat. Or I would actually, I'd love to have a Brady Anderson jersey back in the day. Before the steroids with Rafael Palmero and all those guys. Ben McDonald and all those boys. Show my age again. And I can't spell Orioles to save my life on my computer here. There we go. Yay, the dummy spelled it. Kaching, there's an Oriole. Yep. 
Orange bird, pretty orange bird. The Rays, Wander, Wander Franco would be cool to get. I've seen Bobby Wood Jr. jerseys pulled out everywhere. Uh, Royals and the Astros. Osteros. Boom. And Harry Bees, you want the baseball ones? Is that what you're saying? All right, so Harry, for the baseball guys, let's see if they're doing, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I saw I saw yours get pulled, Don. It's funny. Uh, like I said, I'd become a break addict. And the other night I'm in a break and I see this Don S guy. And I'm like, son of a gun, that's the guy that's in our breaks. And like, uh, I'm rooting for him because I wasn't in the break. I just watched the replay of it. And he kicked butt. He won like four things. Although we're going to talk about the greasy jersey. We'll work something out there, buddy. So anyhow. But okay, so... Uh, so Harry, yep, Harry, uh, sixty-five for all. Yeah, we'll just do. We'll give you a five buck break even there for eight teams in in baseball. Wah, wah. So I'll put Harry down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shade you in in blue on my sheet here, so I can't miss it. We'll put. Harry's teams are blue, Pirates, the Brewers, the Cubs. And we're going to be doing baseball jerseys again. I'm probably going to do three next week. Uh, I got a ton of crap coming. I got stuff, a whole bunch of stuff coming in. They ordered from RSA and uh, actually from some really cool baseball places, Rawlings and stuff. So uh, it should be pretty awesome. Uh, and uh, Chris, I'm going to put you down for the green here for the football guys here. So we got that all. So I got, I got Chris and Green. You're going to be the Green, even though you're not an Eagles fan. E-A-G-L-E-S. But now we got them all full. We can roll. And... <clears throat> yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, Dale. Don and I had this conversation. Let's say we were texting back and forth. Uh, he is definitely a White Sox guy. He is not... Uh, you might be better off with a Robin Ventura or something or other. Or the Big Hurt as opposed to the Cubs because... We had the conversation. Any of you guys that live near a city where you got two teams, New York, can you be a Mets fan and a Yankees fan at the same time? Uh, we came up with a no. We don't think so. Uh, and obviously Chicago. If I'm on the, if I'm a Chicago fan, am I a, am I a White Sox and a Cubs fan? Probably not. Uh, I'm a, I'm obviously a Bears fan or a Blackhawks because Blackhawks are awesome. And you got to be the Bulls fan because you know the running of the Bulls through Chicago and all that good stuff. But, like, out in California, you know, L.A., San Francisco, San Diego, they're all spread out. But the two cities that are, are most prevalent, like, with conflicting cities, especially in baseball, is Chicago and New York. Uh, I, I'm not thinking that you could do that. Uh, it kind of works hand-in-hand hand with the, a lot of people I've met in New York because I go up there for autographs for years and years. I put 250,000 miles on a Chevy Blazer in five years, driving back and forth to the Meadowlands. And most of my friends up there that were Yankees fans – Somehow, we're New York Rangers fans. And most of the people that were New Jersey Devils fans, somehow they were Jets fans. Even though the Jets and the Giants both play in the same stadium. So it's kind of weird. Uh, can never figure that out. But anyhow. All right, so we'll get cracking here since we got all our stuff going. All right, so let me get the list off here because they're all done. And we can go bye-bye with that. Bye-bye. All right, so we're going to introduce our new friend, our shark. <clears throat> I've been having problems with my back. It's still not working. I have my damn... Shot on Tuesday, so they say it's going to get better. Uh, last night, we took my daughter out, first night back home, or first night out for dinner, just with our daughter, not with her boyfriend tagging along. And we went to Outback, and they had these blue drinks. But with the medicine I'm taking, I can't have the blue drinks. But our waiter, Dan, who we've seen many times, got me the blue shark. We haven't come up with a name for him yet, but he's going to be one of our little mascots and our good luck charms. So we got our nine ball, because nine ball wins the game. And, of course, we have our friend in the Pacific Northwest, which we know who he is. And you see what flag he's carrying. Uh, and we got that. And we're going to be kind of goofy. Uh, probably going to name the raccoon that's up on my porch right now upstairs. Because he climbs up right behind me. Here is our sliding glass doors. He climbs up the pole. Uh, up to our porch on our, our upper deck. And he sits up there. And I actually put out blueberries and bananas for him tonight. Because I'm a goof. And I think the raccoon's cool. Although, we don't know if he's a boy or girl. So we don't know what to name him. Alright, so we're going to get rolling here. And now that I've rambled and everybody thinks I'm totally freaking nuts, uh, 
Yeah. Yeah, I'm a Trump fan. I'm not a Biden fan. Uh, actually, I ran an RV dealership for six years in Delaware, and my title clerk had a picture of her and Joe Biden on her desk, and I wanted to knock it off every day I walked by. Uh, I really love paying four bucks a gallon for gas instead of the two fifty that we were paying when Donald was in there. Uh, but don't get me started on that. Anyhow, all right, so we're gonna take a show of hands here. Everybody's kind of watching. Uh, first couple comments here. We'll see. Uh, we're gonna do the football helmets first, the hockey pucks first, baseball jerseys first. Who wants to do what? Real easy. And then again, <clears throat> if we think we're gonna do the, the football helmet, that's cool. It's there. We can do it. Uh, like I said, it'll be eight spots, thirty-five bucks a spot. And you got a one eight chance to win the full size helmet, so it's pretty freaking cool. And I see a lot of guys do that on live breaks. That's an easy way to do it because you pick a division, uh, or you could pick four teams, but the division seems easy. So football, football, hockey. All right, football. We got two out of two out of three. All right, we'll do the football mini helmets first. All right, so uh, we're gonna pull. Uh, let's pull it up here real quick. Ba, 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 ba. And we haven't come up with the name of our shark yet, but we're gonna come up with the name. Good luck for him. Uh, before we do that, we're gonna do all the names real quick. <laughs> Carcarian Carcarius. Yeah, we could do that. That's cool. I like that. Yeah, Carcarian and Carcarius. Like in that movie, uh, the James Bond movie, where he's uh, looking at his buddy. Uh, he disagreed with something that ate him. That was kind of funny. Uh, anyhow, all right, so let's get a uh, sheet for the NFL bakes. <laughs> all right, so we have got in our mini helmets, we've got Anthony F. with the Eagles. We got New York Giants owned by Joe D. We got the Commanders by Chris O'Neill, Mr. Ohio. Uh, and hopefully kids are loving the helmet. I need a picture of them with it. That'd be cool. Uh, uh, Dallas Cowboys is Dale C. Like some cowgirls. Uh, Minnesota Vikings, Tyler B. Uh, and I was watching it on Dynasty Breaks. If you guys ever want to get in the cards, the last time on Dynasty Breaks, Dane's a pretty good host. Uh, they're pretty up front. They're transparent. They're good. Uh, they play a whining song, a baby crying every time they mention the Vikings. So I don't think they're big Vikings fans there, even though they're uh, based out of Texas, which is strange. But, okay, the Lions, Packers, the Bears are all going to Mr. Crusoe. The Falcons, uh, basically the NFC South, Crusoe. The Rams, <clears throat> Crusoe, Josh S. with the 49ers. Dale with the Seahawks, uh, the number of the 12s. And we'll welcome you on board with the 12s, Dale, if you want to be a, a Seahawks fan. We'll talk about that when football season rolls around. My daughter and I are going to make a trip. The schedule's out, so we're going New Year's Eve to Seattle to see her Steelers play my Seahawks. So that'll be cool. And my Seahawks play the Giants on a Monday night game, which doesn't sound like a big deal, but the cool part for me is my day off is Sundays because we're closed. I'm going to go up to the Seahawks Hotel, which I know where they stay in New York already because I've been there many times when they've been there, and hang out with them all day when they're going through their walkthrough and they're coming back in and out and get a ton of Seahawks autographs for my personal collection, which would be awesome, uh, and then go up to the game on Monday night. That will be freaking cool. <clears throat> they later come to Baltimore this year, and I know where they stay there, and they've gotten the team autographed. We stay in the same hotel as the team. Uh, when the Hasselback days was the last time that they were in Baltimore, down there in Baltimore, uh, with Sean Alexander and company, so that ought to be fun too. <clears throat> so Merry Christmas to Dave. So that will be cool. Anyhow, uh, and Dale, we will, we'll leave it open for you, buddy. We're, it's okay. Uh, we know. I know. We, I can tell. Uh, you know, you're, if you're an L.A. fan and you're a Broncos fan, you can be a Seahawks fan. Not back in the day. They they used to be our rivals. But the NFL got greedy with the stupid 2002 with the Texans coming in the league going, oh, oh, Cowboys-Texans Super Bowl? Hey, we'll screw Dave. We'll move the Seahawks into the Eagles Conference. Yeah, that's fun. Okay, anyhow, public service adjustment over. Okay, so the Cardinals are owned by Chris O. <clears throat> you got Jeff Barr with the Patriots. You got uh, Chris O with the Jets, the J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Uh, Kendall with the Bills, welcome aboard. Uh, Anthony F. with the Dolphins. Tyler B. with the Steelers, welcome back, Tyler. Again, buddy, good hits on the baseballs. They're on the way to you as we speak. Uh, we got Chris O with the, with the you got to have the Ohio contingent with the Bengals and the Browns. Uh, <clears throat> Ravens are Sarah, and Sarah has the Texans as well. Jacksonville Jaguars which I will be going out to Pittsburgh in October 29th for the Jaguars game. I want to get Doug Peterson to sign my uh, Super Bowl football for the Eagles. So they'll be staying at the Weston Hotel out there in Pittsburgh. Anybody wants to go out to Pittsburgh, uh, that's where Jack Jacksonville Hotel will be. It'll be the Weston. Uh, it's right smack in the middle of town. Uh, the only other place the team stays out there also is the William, William Penn Omni. So there you go. There's your little tip. If you're in Pittsburgh area, 
You want to get autographs the visiting team? That's where they stay. So anyhow, uh, <clears throat> we got the Colts, the Titans, and the Chiefs, uh, owned by Mr. Crusoe. Dale is, of course, Mr. Bronco guy. Uh, and we got uh, Blaine P. with the Raiders, and we got Bobby and Marla out there in San Diego City uh, with the Chargers. Uh, L.A. Chargers, San Diego Chargers, to the Super Chargers. So anyhow, here we go. We're going to get ready to roll here, make sure we got everybody we can see. Everybody can hear okay, can see okay. So, where's our Sharky guy? Carcarian and Carcarius. We're going to call him, what are we going to call him? Carchi Romano. I like that. All right, Carchi. Take a bite. All right. Happy Mother's Day to everybody out there. Obviously, you have, we have wives and they put up with our stuff as being big kids. This is what we do. Took my wife down to Miller's Buffet in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, which she loves. My daughter loves. We've gone there for years and years. Uh, it's awesome. Uh, all homemade stuff. It's great. And you get to see all the little Amish calves and the, and the horses and buggies. And it's a cool day. So, And we go to Renny to try on glass and they get to spend a couple of hundred bucks on stuff for our kitchen, which is cool. All right, here we go. Rip and rip and rip. See who we got. See who we got. And I would say, oh, wow. Cool. Uh, one thing cool about Gold Rush and all these companies doing the alternates. I love the alternate helmet. Uh, and this is going to be a beautiful helmet for somebody. We're going to pull it out. We're not going to tell who it is yet. Oh, I got to turn them around. Okay, it is Carolina Panthers with an Eclipse helmet. This is a sweet-ass helmet, and this is going to go out to Chris with the Carolina Panthers, grabbing them. This is awesome, dude, uh, and hopefully it is not a freaking Sam Darnold helmet because I don't think he's going to be there. Uh, let's turn around. Got your Beckett. Uh, let's see what we got. Beckett Witness, which is cool. Beckett Witnessed again, everybody who's, uh, will give you our autograph 101. <clears throat> Beckett Witnessed is, they were, Beckett was actually present when they were signing it. Beckett Certified means they, they pet, took it into a card show or sent it into Beckett and they passed all their certifications, uh, all their characteristics for autographs. Authentication, actually was offered a job a few years ago at PSA, uh, but I didn't want to do, do card shows all the day you know, for doing that, which is kind of cool. I know a couple of the guys at Jay... Um, yeah, the JSA uh, and got some baseball stuff over there. They're, they're super cool guys, uh, but they do a really good job, and they are to protect your best interests, which is awesome. So we're gonna turn around, and Chris, congratulations, you got that is going to be Greg Olson, tight and extraordinaire, and thank God it's not Sam Darnold or somebody who's not on the team anymore, like uh, D DJ Moore. Uh, yeah, Greg Olson, boom. Congrats, big hit, kaboom! If I, I'm gonna have to get sound effects, kaboom, 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 or whatever. I'm not playing music anymore because every time I play music, the damn thing gets banned uh, by YouTube, which is kind of goofy. Cool. So, uh, yeah, Greg Olson's awesome. Uh, <clears throat> Hall of Fame votes, yay or nay? Who, who's in? Who's out? I'm thinking he's gonna be a Hall of Fame ballot uh, coming up. University of Miami. Uh, he's in their Hall of Fame already, but he awesome tight end. I mean, he was great. Uh, and, you know, he had Cam Newton for a little bit, but he really generally didn't have a, a great quarterback his whole career. So, all right, we're going to go on to the next one. Let's see, we'll pull, we'll put him over here. Gold Rush, Series 3, the checklist. I posted it on a lot of the things. Hopefully, it all came up because people have been asking about checklists. Check the bottom, make sure it's all sealed. Obviously, it is. Okay, yippee, yippee. Uh, last night, Dane was having fun with it because he thought the Internet trolls were, like, worried about them uh, checking the bottom of the boxes and stuff and blah, blah, blah. And he was calling it the porthole. That helmets magically evaporate through the porthole here. And it, they don't, obviously. We're going to rip this puppy up. And <coughs> oh, cool. Again. <coughs> Excuse me. Good grief. Okay. And on three, we're going to go one and two and three. And we're going to flip the box. Uh, oh. Carchi Romano, is that what we're calling him? Yep, Carchi Romano. Chomp, chomp. Oh, this is this is appropriate. Oh, absolutely. All right, you'll see why here in a minute. Anthony F. Boom. E A G L E S. Now in the series there are several eagles. Yeah, they've actually kicked up their their uh, lot of eagles in in Gold Rush Street. This uh, there's probably five, six, seven possibilities. I don't know if Dick Vermeil's on an eagle's helmet. 
I haven't seen him on an Eagles helmet. I've seen him on the Rams one. I actually have one. I got one. Uh, that was kind of cool. Uh, but uh, I know there are several players. Let's turn around and see who we got. And this is going to go out to Anthony F. This is a Philadelphia Eagles Lunar Eclipse. One and two and three. Darius Slay, Mr. Big Play himself. Congratulations, Anthony. There you go, Darius Slay. Kaboom. Uh, again, uh, we, we should have a... Yeah, Donga, you got the one on the Rams too. Sweet, right? Yeah, they're nice. Uh, I, I, I actually got it sitting over next to my Eagle stuff in my basement already. It's freaking cool. Uh, it's awesome. If you like Dick Vermeule, who's a great guy, great coach. Awesome. Awesome, awesome player. Uh, you can send him stuff to Philadelphia. He still signs through the mail. He has his wine company. You sign up for his wine, uh, even for information from his wine company. And he'll sign anything he wants through the mail for you. Super cool guy. Uh, awesome. And great coach, too. I mean, he should have been a long, a long time ago in the Hall of Fame. Uh, not many teams take two different, not many coaches take two different teams to the Super Bowl, like ever. There's nobody. Uh, I think he was on one of two people, Andy Reid and him. I mean, uh, pretty much that's what you got. Okay, next one. Karchi Romano, do your thing. Okay, we're going to go in here again. All get up. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We're going to rip them open. Oh, I'm going to cut my little thing. And a little cutter thing. You can have my cutter like they do for... Uh, actually, I should bring Brian O'Connor over here. I have my, uh, my cars from Fast and Furious. Uh, uh, Seahawk Blue, of course. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh! I got this one packed upside down in there. Okay, well, we're going to... Well, we'll just flip it the other way and we'll unpack it upside down. That would be cool. Uh, we'll use the portal, as Dean, Dean said. All right, guys. Here we go. And we are going to go through and count one, two, three. And this is going to be an AFC team. And you have got, whoop, kaboom, the Buffalo Bills. Uh, this is a really cool lunar eclipse. Uh, the Bills have blue in their colors, but they don't on this. It's black and red. Uh, and this will go out to Kendall. Uh, congratulations, Kendall, on the Buffalo Bills. And again, Buffalo Bills are pretty kicked up in this series, too. Uh, Carty Romano likes that. He would like to see Jaws in the Eagles helmet. That would have been cool, right? Ron Jaworski, Jaws, get it? No. Uh, anyhow, uh, I had a lot of iced tea today. So, all right, here we go. One, two, three. Thermal Thomas. That's, see, that's really a nice autograph. Sweet. Wow. Is that tight? That's cool. Uh, and again, Beckett witnessed on the back. Uh, right over your little warning label, and it's got your little QR code. Thurman Thomas, congratulations to Kendall. Awesome. Get some different teams. I like that. That's kind of cool. So, boom. We're going to do that. And this is a democracy. This is not Dave Land. So, we are going to ask now, do we want to do the baseball jersey or do we want to do the hockey pucks? Yeah, first timers luck works. I'll take that. I'll take any kind of luck. <clears throat> I actually was in a break today uh, that went off when we were having lunch at Mother's Day. And it was a six mini helmet uh, Gold Rush Series thing. And I had about 15. They, the guy did it by players, which I found odd, odd uh, that you're going to sell 100 players. I thought it was kind of way. I uh, thought it was weird. <laughs> but I had about 25 players, and I did not hit for one. I was watching it in the car on the way home and didn't get one. So that's, that's what happens. All right, so we got baseball. We got baseball. We got, ho we got hockey first. Pass my curfew. Don, I know you're an hour behind us, dude. Uh, it's only 9.30 there in Chicagoland. You're getting ready to eat some sausage and some hot dogs. Uh, right? So, all right. We'll hit the baseball jersey next. Boom, boom, boom. <coughs> okay. Let's go down the list. Oh. <coughs> all righty. So, for the baseball and the blue... Okay, Harry was the blue, so we're gonna make sure we make sure we make Harry the note of the blue here. Hey, welcome aboard, Harry. Thank you for coming on. And we had some fun. I try not to be a goof. Uh, we try to do some fun stuff. Uh, Thursday break though, right now. Now we'll be moving the eight by tens are gonna be NHL eight by tens, which are sweet. Uh, the NFL eight eight by tens. <coughs> All right, we'll do the hockey for Don. We'll do that. Dale's giving up one for the team there. We'll do the hockey pucks. And uh, I have to tell you, Don asked if there's a Colorado Avalanche in here and Dale didn't get, he'll be upset with you. So 
Anyhow, we'll run the nine ball on there uh, because it may be as exhibit A or something for their uh, California to Chicago uh, massacre kind of thing. So we'll go down the list here for the pucks first. <coughs> and the only guy I didn't pay for a puck was Maddox yet, so but I'm sure he will because uh, he was in the other night. So uh, yeah, yeah, I know you're way early, so you got you got plenty of time. Yeah, you have several good baseball teams out there, so. Uh, anyhow, all right, so here we go. We're going to go with the pucks. Amanda T. has the Philadelphia Flyers. Mike H. has the Rangers. Nicholas T. has the Penguins. The Capitals are owned by Scott S. Dale has the Hurricanes and the Blue Jackets. Amanda T. has the Islanders. And the Devils are owned by Jason D. Don S. with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Aaron A. with the Boston Bruins. Warren G., welcome back. Buddy. I, see you. I see you on a couple breaks, too, on other stuff. Uh... With the South Missouri guy, a couple of different places. It's cool. I always wish everybody luck. Uh, it's kind of cool. A little community that we have here. Tampa Bay Lightning, Florida Panthers, Ottawa Senators. Amanda T uh, is by the C Canadians. Warren has the Lightnings and Panthers. Don has the Senators. Lucas has the Sabres. Mike Gates has the Detroit Super Red Wings. Uh, the Dallas Stars are Maddox S. Warren G has the Colorado Avalanche. See, it wasn't even Don's responsibility there, uh, Dale. Uh, Don has... The Winnipeg J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Uh, Robert P. has the Wild. Parker has the Predators. Don S. has the Black Hacks. Uh, Dale has the Coyote Eyes. Uh, St. Louis Blues are Warren G. Don S. has the Edmonton Oilers. Uh, Don, Thomas B. has the Canucks. Bobby and Marla have the San Josie Sharks out there. Ah, there he is again. So, uh, and so eh, not quite color. Anyhow, uh, and then you got... <laughs> Don S with the Knights, the Kings, Dale with the Kraken, because they're getting Kraken. Uh, and Calgary and the, and the Flame Ducks. I'm going to have to move them on my list because it looks goofy to have the Ducks above the Flames because it looks like you always have Duck Flambe. So you have Ducks and Flames going out to Warren. All right, so here we go. We're going to rock and roll. And we got our we got our, our, our mascot up here, which is cool, Carchi Romano. That works. Like that. Uh, we're going to name him that. That's fine. <laughs> nope, I don't think so. Uh, the only person that hasn't paid was Parker. I don't know. I mean, it's uh, it's the Predators. Uh, I'm sure they will. But they're the only person that we have open right now. Everybody else is paid, I think, pretty much. I should, before I say it, I should check. Let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Sean. Yeah, I'm sure. And I'm sure uh, Dale, you'll, I mean, whoever, you guys will handle that because you guys are, are used, you know what to do. So, all right. Here we go. Karchi, rip it open, baby. All right, we're going to... I don't know where you got the name Karchi Romano. That's kind of different. Now, the other night for the hockey, 8 by 10s we had two big, 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 big guns come out. I'm waiting for the big, big, big guns to come out. And uh, the 10 box of hockey pucks and all the pucks and all that good stuff. So let's see what we got. Uh, frozen Pond, blah, blah, blah. These are kind of generic. These are Frozen Pond. I'm, I, I like the pucks and all, but... Um, not thrilled with uh, the COAs because they don't even mention the player, the name, the number, the COA, the, the hologram, nothing. They're just generic cards. You can buy a deck of cards like this in, like, Kmart. Uh, but whatever. Uh, we always try to, like, number our stuff and have it, uh, you, know, you, you actually can identify the player, which is awesome. I'm glad I'm building a database, too, so I just got to get that done. All right, let's go in here and reach in and grab a puck. And we're going to pull it up here. Good luck to everybody. We're going to have a little shark fly by here. Boom, 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 boom. And uh, hit the nine ball. Boom, boom, boom. Trick shots. And Bigfoot's always on there. So here we go. One and two. And Glasgow puck in the back. Stanley Cup puck from the year 2000. Stanley Cup playoffs, which are also the hog game from the NHL, which is awesome. Uh, that is Brian Rafalski of the New Jersey Devils, uh, which would be for... New Jersey Devil, Jason D. Welcome to the party. Jason D. gets his first first activity there uh, with the New Jersey Devils. Awesome. Congrats. Stanley Cup pucks are hard to get. They're a pain in the butt. So, awesome. There's one. Going to go with the next. Again, Trench Puck. Trench Manufacturing. Two major companies. There's Trench Manufacturing in Glasgow. Uh, and then the Game Puckers are on the on the Game Pucks. Uh, going to try to get to the Hockey Hall theme next year, too. So, up the All-Star game a couple of times. That was fun. All right, here we go. One, two, and three. The Florida Panthers. 
And this guy's a bruiser, man. That is Ed Jovanowski. Hug him on the back. Florida Panthers, which will go to Warren G. Congrats, dude. Ed Jovanowski, number 55. Uh, man, he was a beast. He was a really high draft pick, too. I think he was one or, one or two overall that year. Uh, played for a lot of years with the Panthers. Good, good, good player. Warren G. is on the board with Ed Jovanowski. We're going to slide it over. Move our nine ball here so we can build our little puck wall. Which like the way we can, everybody can see. Cool. I've gotten, I think I've gotten better. Anybody can tell me if I've gotten better without blocking the camera all the time with my, my stupidity here. So here we go. And again, one and two and three. The Houston, or not the Houston Oilers. What am I talking about? The Edmonton Oilers classic logo. Awesome. Awesome. And this dude is an, he's a beast player. Don S. Yeah, there's a shock. Jason Arnott. I don't know if you have a Jason Arnott puck, but you do now. Uh, he was great. Stanley Cup winner with the Devils. Uh, great player with the Oilers for a long time. Jason Arnott. Big old logo. I love the big logo on the pucks. They're awesome. I, the little teeny tiny ones that they do now sometimes are kind of goofy. So you can still see everything here. We're good. I don't want to move out of this one. Be able to see, see, see the ones we got. One. Okay. Then a one and a two and a three. Phil Housley of the Washington Capitals. The Washington Capitals are owned by... Scott S. Scott S. Phil Housley. We had a photo of him last week. Great great player for a long, long time. Washington Capitals, Phil Housley pucks. All the puck cases are brand new, so you can put them out and display them. Pucks are great because you can display them in your office. You can display them at the home. Display them anywhere. So uh, I was really happy. They're not a 1-1. Uh, I got the first goaltender ever. It's a frozen pond puck. Uh, first uh, goaltender ever in Pittsburgh Penguins history, uh, which is kind of cool. He wrote it all over the puck, which is kind of neat. Inscriptions are always fun. Nobody reminds them. All right. Next one up. This has got a couple holograms on the back of it. We got, uh, we got Frozen Pine. We got NHL. Again, no numbers or anything, but. Ooh, Dallas Stars hit. Maddox S. Congratulations. This is Mike Keene. That's nice. A little fine pen. I like that. Only problem with those little fine pens, if you're ever out and getting hockey autographs in the cold of winter in the February and January. Uh, the first time I ever met Pat LaFontaine in the Buffalo Sabres, uh, I had two pens freeze on me because uh, they were so cold out. And you, you hold them out in the air, and they freeze before they even got the, the thin pens. The, the, th the thicker pens are a little bit better uh, for durable. If you're going to do autographs or go get somebody in person, you hear teams coming to your, uh, get the, the white paint pen, go to a craft store. Sharpies are okay. The silver Sharpies are okay, but they seem to fade out, and they have a weird line. Uh, go out to get a good paint pen uh, and have fun. You know, players are always cool. Hockey guys are great. Uh, you can pick them out because they're all dressed in suits. They all have to dress in suits going out to the bus. Uh, the morning skate's usually 10.30 to 11 o'clock the day before or the day of the skate or the day of the game. So there you go. Mike Keen, Dallas Stars, and your autograph tip 101. All right, next one. Turn around again. This one is a Fanatics puck, which is awesome. Uh, now, Fanatics I like. See, Fanatics got a number and it got the, the, the UPC code on there. That's cool. Uh, we'll get that technical down the road. But that's that's nice. So this is a Fanatics puck. And we're going to turn around. One and two and three. The Blackhawks. Chicago. This is Dylan Strom from the Chicago Blackhawks. Little Cool autograph. Little logo. Uh, Chicago Blackhawks. Yeah, let me guess who that is. That is Don S. Uh, which is fitting because he's a Chicago Blackhawks fan. So that would make sense. All right. Cool. So we got six down. We got four more to go just in the puckage. In the puckage. That's kind of a fun word to say. Let's go. Grab another one back. Another one with two header on the back. Uh, Frozen Pond and the NHL on the back. Turn around. One, two, three. Oh, we got the Quackers. We got the Mighty Ducks. I'll make sure this didn't mess this up. They kind of put this little crappy thing on as a spacer. And you don't really have to put it on there. I wouldn't want to mess up an autograph on a puck. Uh, yep. And this is Henrik from the Mighty Ducks, the Anaheim Duckies. Uh, they're not duck flan bait tonight. we got a duck puck. Uh, and that's Warren G. Warren G with the ducky puck. Nice autograph. Henrique. Boom. Kitching. There you go. I like the old, the old Ducks logo better. They were the Anaheim Mighty Ducks. Uh, because that's how they became a franchise. They were in the movie 
uh, they used their logo. They're, they wouldn't have the Mighty Ducks. I'd love to see the old District 5 jerseys out there some night. That would be really cool. Uh, anyhow, all right, let's go. One more. Uh-oh. Yeah, I saw the front of it already. This is a game puck, too. Yeah, Don, you're going to have to probably be gone. Somebody's going to have to see you as the avalanche. Uh, Warren G., you might have to be talking to uh, to Dale out there. Uh, game puck, Mark Crawford. Uh, only he would sign with a black pen. Uh, game puck uh, for the Colorado Avalanche head coach, the Stanley Cup winning team uh, that Ray Bork was on, Patrick Waugh, Joe Sackick, all those boys. Uh, Mark Crawford, uh, my wife, used to, his hair used to drive her crazy because uh, it was always, like, perfect uh, with all kinds of, like, uh, he had to put pounds of gel in it. But Mark Crawford from the Avalanche black paint pen on the Avalanche game puck. Warren G., if you want to trade that, I'm sure Dale will offer you something for that because he's got quite a, uh, an Avalanche collection. If you're not an avid Avalanche guy, uh, work a deal. That would be that would be good. Future epics, whatever. Uh, Dale, I don't know that he is, but he's in here a lot and he's on breaks a lot, so I'll, I'll I can forward him a message for you and let him know you'd be interested. I'll gladly do that. Yeah, any any of you guys, if you guys ever have a, a something you got, uh, like Don want a, a a greasy jersey, then I was rooting for him. And yeah, Bob Greasy, my favorite football player, pretty much of all time. Even though he got a jersey that he's never worn, it was like the orange. Uh, the weird one that they do now, the custom ones. Uh, it's still be a cool thing to have hanging up. I mean, I can send a message or uh, email like, hey, contact this person, whatever. And you guys can work out a trade if you want to trade some stuff up. That's fine. Uh, even before you do it, if you do it before I even ship it, I can, you know, take care of that for you. All right. Uh, let's see. We've got six, eight. We've got two more. And official game puck, year 2000, NHL. Cool all-star patch that was that year. Uh, NHL game was was uh, in Toronto that year, which is fitting because the Hall of Fame is there. If you guys ever get a chance to go to the Hall of Fame, go to the Hall of Fame because it's awesome. Uh, it's not like the Baseball Hall of Fame. Hockey Hall of Fame is much better. Uh, anyhow, baseball, a lot of it's like, who are these people? I've never heard of these people before. Although the ladies of baseball is pretty cool in the Baseball Hall of Fame. So anyhow, uh, this is going to be a Philadelphia Fly Guys puck. Uh, Amanda T. <laughs> Congratulations hitting again. Uh, this is Shell Samuelson, longtime Pittsburgh uh, Penguins defenseman, but also a longtime Flyers alternate captain and defenseman. Great player. Uh, maybe Hall of Fame someday if he's not already there. He played for like 15 years. Really good, really, really big defensive presence. I mean, the guy was like a stork. He was like 6'6. Six, six. So, Shell Samuelson, puck, game puck for Amanda. And we got one more, as you can see in here. Got one more package to do. We'll put it over here. And we'll go one, two, three. Toronto Maple Leafs. We're to mention in Toronto, and I guess it's like Beetlejuice, their name come up. Uh, <clears throat> this is Arthur Rhodes, or Damian Rhodes, the goaltender. Uh, right before Cujo came in and took over for them. Damian Rhodes, good good goalie. Uh, Toronto Maple Leafs hit, which is Don S. So, yeah, Don, you, got, you did okay. You got back on the board tonight, that's for sure. All right, so we got Damian Rhodes, Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, we got Henrique from the Ducks. We've got Mark Crawford of the Avalanche. We got Ed Jovanowski of the Panthers. Uh, cool pucks, and not no super big names. Mike Keane's probably the biggest one, <clears throat> but we kind of shot our wide last week with you know uh, with Brendan Shanahan and, and Martin Brodeur and Mario Lemieux all in the same freaking break. Uh, that was crazy. Uh, Brian Rafalski, Stanley Cup champion. Jason Arnott, he's, uh, he's a stud player. He might be borderline Hall of Fame. Phil Housley's definitely a Hall of Famer, so that's a good player. Uh, the Blackhawks, you got the Dylan Strom again, another really good player for the Blackhawks. Mike Keane for the Stars. And Shell Samuelson, which is borderline Hall of Famer. So there we go. There's our hockey pucks. So And we'll ship them out. Uh, most, most of them will probably go out Tuesday morning. And I always do priority mail, even though we don't charge for that. But, I mean, Dale and I have had that conversation about I should check my charging. My, uh, my shipping stuff, but I like to people get stuff quick and know that they got it there uh, as opposed to like wondering and going, boy, I hope he gets it, I hope he gets it, I hope he gets it. So hopefully, Don, that helps you out with your bedtime. Uh, if you got some milk and cookies there waiting or some sausage waiting for you. At, uh, there's no Chicago sport. I don't know what, what Chicago team's on tonight, but we got pucks there, so we're building a little mountain here. All right, next 
order of stuff will be. Yeah, so we'll do uh, the baseball jersey. Uh, let's move these pucks back so we don't crush them. I don't want to break the cases. That would suck. I've used the word suck a lot tonight, but I don't want to do that. Hey, 20 guys, 25 people in a break. The team with breaks with guys' names didn't hit one helmet out of six. That's kind of crazy. And I only put the guys in that I want to collect the uh, guys for my own personal stuff. I'm like, kind of bummed. I thought, oh, I'll at least see one. <coughs> nope. Hello, I was in full size one last night. That was cool. I got a Doug Flutie black Eclipse helmet, which was kind of freaking sweet. Like I said, I'd become a break holic too, so it's it's kind of fun. Yeah. Put them down like that so they don't get broken. All right, so I guess there's no rhyme or reason we do one or two first. Doesn't really matter. Got box six and box one. <coughs> okay, we'll go down to teams here real quick. <coughs> Yeah, let's see, deal what you got here, buddy. Yeah, you have. I know. I had one of those days, man. I, it's like you know, it's one of. Them, it's weird how it runs the cycles. Uh, you know, you win one week, you win fifteen pucks or fifteen uh, helmets. The next week, you win zero. It's like strange. Uh, okay, so we got mini helmet there. We got uh, the jersey. It could all make it better. Uh, yep, we're all, we're in baseball now. Right here, boom, boom, boom. So. Uh, and like I said, oh, you're asking if he's in baseball. Uh, yep. So anyhow, we got the jerseys coming up. Tyler B. with the Phillies. Amanda T. with the Mets. John M. with the Nationals. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I just want to make sure I have it right here. We got Harry uh, with the Marlins. We got Harry with the Pirates. Amanda with the Cardinals. Harry with the Brewers and the Cubs. Wishing you luck there. Chris O. with the Reds. Of course, Ohio guy. Uh, Tyler B. with the Giants. Jonathan A. with the Padres. Thomas B. with the Dodgers. Dale C. with the Rockies. Uh, we got the Orioles. Uh, owned by, by Harry. We got the John M. with the Yankees. We got Amanda T. with the Red Sox. We got Robert P. with the Blue Jays. We got the Tampa Bay Rays. Owned by Harry. We got Chris O. We got Juan, Juan D. Uh, with the White Sox. Somehow Don S. missed that. Uh, we got Thomas B. <coughs> with the Detroit Tigers. Uh, we got Robert P. with the Twins. We got the Kansas City Royals with Harry. Uh, you got the Oakland A's. You got R Richard C. Uh, we got Dale C. with the Anaheim Angels. Uh, the Houston Astros, which I love the way they play still. Uh, they're owned by Harry. And then Thomas B. with the Rangers. And Sean H. with the Mariners. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I just want to make sure we got all of our stuff on here. And Dale, I know you probably you probably hit up stuff or whatever on uh, on demo later or whatever PayPal later, whichever. That's fine. Uh, Chris, I got you on there. Yeah, we had we had a good lunch, Chris. Yep, cool. Uh, we're good. Yep, burr. so we're good. Uh, and our chat's working good. I had it on kids mode earlier, which is not a way to do it. Uh, once our videos get done going live, I've been putting them onto our main page. Uh, on YouTube. I'm going to use Facebook more too. We'll have the teams up. Like Wednesday after, like Wednesday night when the auction's in, I'll have the teams up that are available all day Thursday. So people will know for Thursday night, you can just text me or call me during the day or text me or shoot it over during the daytime. You don't have to wait until we go live to see what teams are available. And there's no sniping that way. You can just grab them all up if you want. <coughs> so, and we're going to employ, uh, we're going to play, employ uh, Carchi Romano here again. Give some good luck for everybody. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Chomp, chomp, chomp. So, uh, let's see. We'll put one back for now. Let's grab this one. And or say, I see this pretty good job with the boxing. I've seen some with red tape. I don't know what the hell the red tape means. Maybe that's an older one that they've been out for a while with. I do not know. But this it seems pretty easy. You rip them open with two. You can rip them open with two. Pull it open. And we'll see what we're going to do. Actually, I mean, we spent a lot of time looking at them and talking about stuff, which is fun. Uh, some of the guys ripping up the brakes, man. They don't even show you the jersey. They move on to the next. It's kind of goofy. Like, you want to see it. All right. So let's see what we got. Shall we? We're going to pull this out. Good luck to everybody. Nine ball. Blah, 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 blah. And Carchi Romano. Blah, blah, blah. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Sound effects. Oh, wait, wait. The people from Jaws. I hear them. 
Right now they're filing an injunction. Uh, my my video is going to be blocked because I mentioned the Jaws theme. So anyhow, here we go. One and two and three. Pull it out here and see what we got. We have got Gonzalez. And it's blue, so I'm thinking it's not Luis, Luis Gonzalez from the Arizona Diamondbacks. I'm thinking this is probably Juan, Juan Gonzalez, uh, home run hitter for the Texas Rangers. But let's see what we got. Got JSA certification on it. And, yep, this is Juan Gonzalez. Uh, that is the Texas Rangers going out to Thomas B. Congratulations, man. Uh, JSA certification on there. Spence is the best. Uh, Juan, Gon Juan, Juan Gonzalez. He's called him Long Gone Gonzalez. Uh, underrated player. I don't know if he's going to be ever considered for the Hall of Fame, but he is really good uh, and hit a lot of home runs. But that's uh, Texas Rangers, Juan Gonzalez. All right. Got one more here coming up here with the jersey. And then if anybody wants to do the football helmet, we can do that. So we can, whatever, we'll figure it out. Or we can, uh, you know, have this next one on Thursday. Right, rip this open without cutting myself, my damn fool self up. Rip this open without cutting it all up. Camera looks pretty good on it. All right, good luck again. Carti Romano. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go, eight ball, nine ball. Boop. All righty, good luck, everybody. See what we got here coming out. And a one, -a. and a two. -a. Are we betting American League or National League? And does anybody like the DH rule? All right, here we go. One and two and three. Ooh. Ooh, orange and black. <laughs> hmm. All right, you got JSA certification. You got a gray road uniform, which is cool. The orange and the black, it's got Clark on it. Only two people come to mind in my head is Will Clark and Jack Clark. Jack Clark was known as the Ripper for the, the Detroit Tigers. And Will Clark was known uh, just for being a hell of a ball player for the Giants. Shall we flip it over and see? Here we go. One and two and three. Ah, wow. Sweet autograph. Look at this. I'm going to get this in the light. Jack Clark, the Ripper. That's freaking awesome. Uh, again, JSA certification. Uh, Detroit Tigers, this would be. Uh, which is Thomas B. Can, huh? You hit both jerseys? Wow. Talk about, there, there you go, beginner's luck, whatever. Uh, yeah, Dale, I was like 0 for 21 the other night uh, with my guy, my friend. Uh, well, I, I know him from doing his breaks. Uh, Dave with the big, uh, the dad, uh, the dad breaks. Yeah, I had 21 spots throughout the night. I had zero. I got zilch. Uh, wow, Thomas B., how the heck did you do that, dude? Uh, Detroit, yep, I'm assuming this is the Detroit Tigers because I think that's where Jack, that's not place Jack Clark played. Let's see, I don't want to finger it all up and all that stuff. I just want to confirm it is indeed Detroit. And we will make sure. Let me see what we got inside. Nope, it's actually San Francisco. It's not Detroit. It's a Jack, Jack Clark, but it's a San Francisco jersey. I'm glad I double-checked that. So the San Francisco Giants will go to Tyler B. And it goes on the jersey that it's on. So we'll pull it out. I'm glad I double checked that. But there you go. You got the Jack Clark in front. That is a sweet jersey. I have seen so many of these baseball jerseys that are just custom jerseys that aren't even the regular jersey. That is awesome. <laughs> yep, so I'm glad Tyler, I'm glad I checked that for you. San Francisco 22. Jack the Ripper Clark. So we got Tyler B with the Giants winning that one, and Thomas B with the Thomas B with the Rangers. So yeah, we share the wealth a little bit. That's kind of cool. Uh, Tyler, I promise you, I'll fold this back up to make it sure it's pretty in there, and make sure your certificate does not fall out. But congrats on that. That is awesome. We'll tuck this puppy back in there. Uh, Got to check it because this did not look does not look blue for Detroit. Uh, it absolutely has no blue tint in the in the lettering whatsoever, so it had to be a black and yeah, black and orange. Uh, which, you know, if it was a baseball, you'd go by most games played, but because it's on a jersey, it goes to the team that's on the jersey. Obviously, for baseball players, because they do bounce around a lot now. So, Kyle Schwarber, if you get a Kyle Schwarber baseball, where the hell does he go? I guess he goes to the Cub. 
uh, you know, but that's cool. Uh, awesome. So then the only other thing I got, if anybody else wants to still, I don't know how many people are still watching or what we're doing here. Uh, if anybody wants to do the football, the full size we can. Like I said, we just do it on Venmo or PayPal, like 35 bucks a spot, and we'll just do eight spots, and you got one in eight chance of winning it. But that's up to you guys completely. We've got this big old box here of a football helmet. So, again, I'll give a couple minutes to see if anybody wants to do that. If not, uh, we can do it at a later time. No biggie. No problem. But it's here. It's there. If anybody wants to play, uh, could be fun. Uh, we'll put our Bills guys up there. We'll pile our football guys on top of our football helmet. Ah. And you just have, the only hard part would be picking a division. Who, who do you choose? Because uh, you got you know, NFC East, you got the Eagles, Cowboys, the Commandos, and the Giants. You know, the AFC, well, used to be the Central and North. Got a bunch of good teams there, too. Uh, <clears throat> okay, Don, yep, yeah, you got all right, it looks like we're doing it. Okay, Don S N F C North. Okay, Don S has Don S the NFC North. Uh, okay, Chris, and you guys just, just send it over to, to uh, PayPal or Venmo, however you want to do it. Uh, so we got Chris, AFC North. And Dale's got the AFC West. Yeah, Dale, you can make it all, could, could all be better right now, right? I mean, that's what happens. Mm hmm. Cool, I'll write that down. I'll get a sheet up here so I can write it down and make sure I got it all right. Let me find a paper that has NFL stuff on it that I can use. I'll use my little we use my little our little our little regular stuff here we'll do okay. So central Steelers through Ravens. All right, so Chris, we got oh, Don S. Give me the other divisions. What do you? Okay, uh, whatever. Okay, so Chris has got the AFC North. Okay, Dale, we're gonna we're gonna give you positive vibes, buddy. We're gonna do put yours in green. Uh, not that you're the, the Eagles or anything, but we'll put you in green. Green means go, Dale, and then uh, Don S. We got. The Bears. Don S. Uh, Mermaid, do you want the AFC East? You got it if you want it. And Don can grab the other ones. Yeah. Uh, was early in the chat? Oh, yeah, I think he did. You're right. Yeah, Mermaid. Yeah, I think you're right. I'll go back and look. Yeah, I don't know if he's in there earlier, if he's still or not. Yeah. Yep, so we got, yep, that's the Giants, Saquon Barkley and all that good stuff. I actually took him in a break today. I was hoping, I'm a Penn State guy, so I thought Saquon Barkley would be cool. 
So then Don, we're gonna give you this here. And Don will go to the Bucks. And my Seahawks. Seahawks. Yep, so right now our little board here looks like this. I think everybody can probably see that if I hold it up. Uh, we got, there you go. Oh, yeah, we can see it. Woo! So I got Dale uh, with the AFC West. You got Don S. with the AFC North, or AFC South, I'm sorry. Chris with the AFC North. Don S. with the AFC East, which, you know, we had a Patriots one come out, so Dolphins will be cool, I guess. Uh, then the NFC West is Don. Uh, uh, you picked originally the NFC North, which is your Vikings, Lions, Tigers and Bears, all my, that kind of thing. Uh, Falcons and Saints for John S. And if Mermaid, uh, if, if Mermaid wants uh, the NFC East, you can have the Eagles, Giants, Cowboys, and Commandos. And if not, Don said he'd buy up the rest of the spots. So that's all we're figuring out right now. Now I'll get these other helmets off so we can, my brother, that's his little cricket noise from Pittsburgh. Uh, He's gotten crazy with these card breaks. He calls me at 2 o'clock in the morning, 1 o'clock in the morning. Hey, this guy's breaking cards. Some of this card, okay, we'll put you down. Just send that over to PayPal or Venmo. Yep, 35. Yep, get that over. If you guys get that over, then I'll, then I'll, do, then I'll get ready to break it over. Whoever can get that stuff over real quick, that'd be cool. Mermaid. Yeah, we'll have to give you credit for, like, naming our, our little guy here, our little... A little Karchi, Karkarian, Karkarius. Uh, but yeah, anybody, uh, the, the autograph breaks are great. Cool. Thanks, Dale. <clears throat> the autograph great, breaks are great. This is fun stuff. I mean, baseball guys, uh, I saw Dave Craig helmet come out. The break that was done in last night that I wasn't in. Dave Craig on a flash Seahawks helmet. The bright green flash mini helmets, which I love. And Dave Craig never used it, but I'll make an exception for that helmet because it's not that logo because it's the Flash helmet. It's cool. Dave Craig is, of course, famously known for fumbling more than any other NFL quarterback in NFL history, but he's still my Seahawks quarterback. He's still my top three quarterbacks ever. I got Jim Zorn. I got Dave Craig. I got Russell Wilson uh, until Russell Wilson forgot how to play football. But, you know, it's cool to get stuff like that because where the hell is he else going to get that? I'm... I don't see Dave Craig. I saw him a couple of golf tournaments, but I don't even have him on. I have him on a regular Seahawks, the old throwback helmet, which they're going to be using this year. I can't wait till this year. The, the throwback days will be going. Okay, so it sounds like everybody did their stuff here. Let me see. I got, yeah, let's see, Dale. My brother's like, why aren't you answering your phone? I am in the middle of a break, Goofy. I will call you shortly. Oh, cool. Yeah, Tyler B. Yeah, you, you always had both, buddy. Uh, but this was a 49er or a Giants jersey. Uh, as opposed to uh, a Tigers jersey. So, oh yeah, I guess, if, yeah, that's cool. So, all right, Don, I need your PayPal email so I can pay. Yep, here you go. It's on It's on the little list I had, but this is simple. And this is my regular email. If anybody ever needs to get a hold of me, just feel free to email me, Emerald City Blitz. Emerald City as in the land of Seattle Seahawks and Blitz, the Seattle Seahawks mascot which is how I came up with that email like 10 years ago. So this is my email for any if you, and I answer it on my phone all the time. <laughs> so, uh, and my name's on there, obviously. So, yep. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, 
Oh, yeah. Hey, Tyler B. Uh, yeah, hey. Thomas B. Tyler. Yeah, there you go. Tyler B. You got the Giants. Yep. Yeah, boom. Yeah. And Thomas B. Got the uh, got the Rangers. So, yeah, it worked out really great for you, dude. Uh, it's pretty. I'm glad I looked at it because it's black. It's black and orange. It's not black and blue. Uh, no matter what you do with this lighting in here, it's sure as hell not blue. So anyhow, uh, Don asks, "What's your total?" Let's see. We got Don with one, two, three, four, five. Right. One. Forty, yeah. So you got yeah, seventy, seventy, one forty, one seventy five. Be right back. Okay. Ugh. If you're bring, if you're going to get Chicago pizza while we're waiting for you, I'm gonna be really mad. Hey, by the way, too. Uh, Don is a Chicago guy. He's from the south side of Chicago. Never met him before you did breaks. Next time I got to Chicago, I'm, we're definitely getting together. He already told me a, a place where you can get great pizza. Uh, and I went to Chicago in December, and I have never been a fan of Chicago pizza, ever. And I want to tell you, if you folks have not been to Chicago, you must go there. Chicago pizza is a completely different animal in Chicago than it is anywhere else on the planet. Uh, I'm there in Philadelphia area and Baltimore and New York. Uh, and they've all got, quote, Chicago pizza, and uh, it ain't. The Chicago pizza, it took 25 minutes for it to cook, or half an hour for it to cook, but man, was it killer. Giordano's, uh, right across from the Willis Tower, was freaking awesome. Uh, and the picture I have on my one thing uh, is the Willis Tower going out on the edge. It's cool looking down at a city with just, you know, a half an inch of glass between you and the ground. It's kind of cool. It takes guts to step out there, but it's kind of cool. So anyhow, Chicago's a cool city. We'll be back again uh, shortly. United Center was great for, for an arena, for seeing a venue. Uh, it was great. Walking down to the big beam uh, was great. <coughs> so all that, all that stuff out there was phenomenal. So we're going to get ready to rock this song. We're going to do the eight and nine ball, a little good luck thing all around it. And we're going to put our uh, Carchi Romano up here. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba 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 Hey Tyler, you can thank you can thank the, our mascot here. Uh, the last baseball uh, baseball jersey we got are Juan Gonzalez, Texas Rangers, and Will or uh, Jack the Ripper Clark. Uh, it's a, actually San Francisco Giants. <coughs> so yeah. <coughs> Yeah. And then again, Thursday night's going to be killer. Uh, I'm going to have the stuff, you know, it's all scheduled to end on Wednesday and Thursday earlier, so everybody can grab it and get on it. Uh, but full-size helmet, football jerseys, three of them, uh, three mini helmets. It's going to be like Christmas Day again. Thursdays are fun uh, with doing our stuff. And, if, you know, we, maybe we'll do a divisional mini helmet that night or something. Or a divisional, I don't know, something else uh, that's spur of the moment that was fun. Uh, they're also going to be hockey 8x10s, which last week was Crushville, uh, and football 8x10s, which are, again, they're always great. They're half Hall of Famer, so pretty cool. <coughs> I'm just waiting for Don to, to give me the good word here and go, and we can go. My brother's right. You can hear that stuff in the background. I'm watching American Idol tapes of it from a couple weeks ago. We're still catching up because it's been so busy at work. It's been goofy. Yeah, Don, just make sure. Yeah. Just make sure it's 
C-O-N-A-R-D, not Conrad, because they'll screw it up. It's A-R-D. C-O-N-A-R-D. C-O-N-A-R. Everybody goes, oh yeah, Conrad. Nope. Eh, wrong answer. Uh, it's been that way all my life. My daughter was tra traumatized in fourth grade. Uh, she's in elementary school. They get to have their uh, their star of the week where you get to bring in all your stuff that tells you everything about you uh, in, in, and have it in the window in front of your elementary school room for a whole week. And my daughter, Courtney, when she was going, her teacher had to have a sub that week because she was out doing something. And she made a note and said, Courtney Conrad will be in Friday to put her stuff in her window. And she came home in tears because... Mrs. Sarker, she's my teacher. She should know how to spell my last name. She should know who I am. She doesn't even know who I am. It was crazy. I just told her to get right used to it for the rest of her life. But it's Conrad. She went A-R-D, not Conrad. Like, Albert, don't call me Joey Bell. That was a nod out to you there, Chris, in Ohio. Albert, don't, not, don't call me Joey Bell. He calls the hubbub with that for years. It was goofy. So... Anyhow, all right, so here we go. We're going to roll and see if we're going to move out Mr. Jack the Ripper. We got a shark, and we got Jack the Ripper. Uh, I don't know. Maybe a uh, Good thing I have this not made for kids. You know, you got a shark and Jack the Ripper. And Juan y Gonzalez out there. All right, good luck with the nine ball, everybody. Let's see what we got. We'll rock and roll. Where's the little cutty thing? And we haven't, I haven't shredded myself yet, so that's good. And Dale's luck's going to change right here, maybe. We'll see. Pull it open. Whoop. Rip that puppy open. Ba ba ba. All right. Let's make sure we don't have the front of it out. Yeah. Turn it back. It's a rough speed replica helmet. This is way cool. We'll pull it up here out of the box. God, we're packing in so freaking tight. All right. We got we got a box. Hey, whoever had a box, they're a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. We got a box. It is a speed replica helmet. Let's see what we got. Any picks on the division here? Again, just so we're clear, we got Mermaid and the Eagles, Giants, Commanders, Cowboys. We got Don with the Vikings, Lions, Packers, and Bears. Falcons, Saints, Bucks, and Panthers. Rams, 49ers, my Seahawks, and Arizona Cardinals. It was a J.J. Watt Cardinals We'll talk. I'd like to get one of him. Uh, New England Patriots is Don, the Jets, the Bills, and the Dolphins. And Chris has the Ohio clan plus its enemies, the Steelers and the Ravens. I guess they're going to find their way to the bottom of the Cuyahoga River if it's one of those two. Uh, the Browns and Bengals, you'd be okay, right? Uh, Don has the Jags, the Texans, the Colts, and the Titans. And Dale is the boys out west with the Chargers, the Chiefs, the Broncos, the Raiders, formerly known as the AFC West, where my Seahawks were, for many, many years. So, anyhow, here we go. We're going to pull it up and see what we got. Oh, it's, an it's a lunar eclipse out there. It's not It's not a space station. It's a lunar eclipse. Here we go. One and two. And you have got a lunar eclipse from the Detroit Lions. We ain't lying. Wow, this is sick. This is nice. Beckett, Beckett witness on the back. Wow, that's sweet. Lions graphics on the front. Got the Detroit stuff on the back. Uh, this is an NFC North. This is going to be Don S. Don S. Pretty sweet. And the autograph is their number one. I don't know why the heck they trade this guy. TJ Hawkinson. The tight end. Freaking sweet. This is beautiful. Man, I like this freaking helmet. There's nothing wrong with it. No, no glitches, no scuffs. Think that when you get a helmet and it's got gook on it, this is actually really, really... Dude, that's sweet. Pockets and tight end. Uh, I have no idea why the hell, like I said, why the hell they trade them, but that is awesome, dude. I have not seen a Detroit Lions lunar eclipse in person before, and that is awesome. Uh, between the helmet that Chris got last week, which is a freaking lunar eclipse of the Browns, and this one, these are sweet. Speed helmet, cool, awesome. Congratulations to Mr. Don S for the Lions. You ain't lying. Maybe you can find a Bears fan and trade one for a Bears. Oh, 
Oh, cool. Congrats, dude. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, hey. Uh, yeah, Mermaid Point Breaks. Yeah, come on. The birds, man. Yeah. Hey, uh, <laughs> I, I just got a Miles Sanders one a couple weeks ago, so they're in there. Uh, and and I like I said I've ordered five more full size helmets from Arce, so uh, I know he's in there. Uh, there's there's lots of guys. Uh, Devontae Smith, I love that one full size. Uh, like Don just said, this is his first full size helmet. The mini helmets are great, and I love them. And I I sent uh, him a picture of my basement the other night. I have 75, 80 mini helmets, mostly Seahawks, some Eagles, uh, and some other guys like Dick Vermeil and you know players I really love. Uh, but these full-size helmets by the NFL, they do a freaking awesome... These are works of art. I mean, these things are amazing. Uh, every damn team, their full-size helmets are awesome. I understand why guys get so wrapped up and grabbing all the full-size. I think Dale told me that he has, he has 16 Elway helmets. I can get it because this... I mean, these things show well. Uh, I would want to take that and put that in my office. That's freaking awesome at work. Uh, just put it there and go, look, yeah, it's mine. What are you going to do about it? It's like way cool. I have a couple full size. I have a Flash Seahawks with a bunch of Ring of Honor members on it. I have a 2004 team helmet I got signed when I was up at the hotel in the Meadowlands by like 35 members of the Super Bowl team that got stolen away from them against the Steelers uh, because Jerome Bettis was retiring and the NFL wanted to give him a present. Uh, they did throw a flag on Matt Hasselbeck for tackling a guy that intercepted a pass. Say no more. Anyhow, so this is congrats, Don. Uh, really good night here with everything. Greg Olson. We got Darius Slay. There's Eagles. Darius Slay. Boom. Uh, Thermal Thomas. Really nice autograph on a Lunar Eclipse. Uh, Eagles Lunar Eclipse. A regular Eclipse Panthers. All kinds of great pucks. Great jerseys. But it was really great overall. Uh, happy Mother's Day to everybody out there. Don't forget to tell your wives Happy Mother's Day. Because uh, they put up with our crap. And Thursday night we'll have fun all over again. This will be really cool. I'll call my brother finally now and tell him to get a grip. But watch those card breaks, uh, man, on whatnot. Man, you can spend a crap ton of money really quick. Uh, before you know it, you spend 500 bucks on cards, and you go, oh, wait, I didn't get any cards. So, anyhow, thanks for watching again. Nine on the break, and we're going to have our, our buddy Carchi Romano here say goodnight. Goodnight, Carchi. Uh, nine on the break. Signing out. Thanks, guys.